back to Parasite Eve. Let's see. Found out that the videos had some audio desync as it went on on YouTube, so I'm working on fixing that. Probably means I have to cut the streams off midway through and restart it. Stood around an hour and a half. Prevent any more desync issues. Let's see. Where did we leave off? Did we leave? Yep. Back in Baker's office. Mm. Fortunately, when you load, all of the random encounters will reset, at least to my memory. already considering Vagrant Story as the next game I'd do in the mornings, since I do Daggerfall at night currently, and due to YouTube comments suggesting it, I guess pretty much got confirmed, so that'll be what's coming up next. Another of Squaresoft's seeming experimental games. I also got my information straightened out on Parasite Eve's backstory. It's actually based off a novel written in 95. can't remember the author's name, unfortunately, but I wouldn't recommend looking for it on the internet. It's kind of expensive. <laughs> Just because I was trying to find out information, the price came up. But yeah, is that information straightened out now? Um, another point attack. Did I check in here before I had to run off? Yes, I did. Okay. And I already took care of the downstairs stuff. Now, it'll get a lot easier later on to do your modifications, etc. Just because you'll get a lot more bonus points based off what you've been fighting. Right now, I basically can't do much. Be a little bit still before we fight it, but stupid rats. Should have reloaded that. Had the option, didn't. Sarah, I'm shooting fireballs. She can heal you fully once, as she said. Useful if you're really low on health or healing supplies, etc. But 
Again, she can only do it once. Ah, there's the key for the locker. Now, which room is this? This is the one I was thinking about earlier when I was in the uh, weapon storage room. How she immediately knows it's the one that got Torres, I'll never know. I don't remember if this one does the stupid defense debuff. As you can tell, it is stronger than the other uh, weird mutated police dogs that we've been dealing with. But not much. Dealing with it. Get another gun. Along with everything that's in here. Now, what was that weapon? Grenade launcher? No, it's a rifle. Okay. Again, it's not great. It has good range, and it's better than the AR, but... Eh. This looks a little suspect. It's because it is. In here, you get the end jacket. I don't think that had an ability. Just a lot of slots. So, you know, is the base higher than 3413? No. Better defense, worse everything else. So, I think it has more mod slot max, but eh. Both these have crap mod abilities. But, extra defenses, since I can get an attack on that, might as well use the tool. Transfer that over and continue on. Unfortunately, I don't really care much for the uh, armor mods. All I care about on my armor is mostly the base stats. There's a couple useful armor mods that you can get much later, but not until pretty damn far into the game. deal with the locker afterwards. No, I'm going to deal with it now, I think. How much inventory space do I have? Four. Yeah. Head back down all the way and open up that locker that was locked earlier. You might as well. Get some extra experience on the way, I think. up to the point where I can just stomp through the Chrysler building. <laughs> Come on, open up. Which one is it? There we go. And you get a trading card. Doesn't seem that important, right? But if you remember, the guy that's now running the weapons department mentioned wanting trading cards. These are your new mod permits. They're much easier to come by. And it just makes opening up mod slots on weapons, etc. far more easy. Just the right moment, so I screwed up his uh, defense down. I forgot that you could do that. Hit him at just the right time, and you'll mess up their attack. Only works on certain ones, I think. Might just be that one, I don't know. Hey, bye. I take the junk so I can shove it in storage. I should probably use that defense plus one. Discard all my junk. 
There's a glitch which I will show off in one area in the game so you can get a full inventory of trading cards. Makes it real easy to mod stuff. Already dealt with that so I don't need the storage key anymore. I don't need the locker key anymore. And I'm just going to stash that for now. Hello here. Fortunately, again, no sound for discarding junk at this point. So it's really hard to tell how much you've given him. defense down stuff, I'm fine. Might as well take that and use it to restore what little damage I took. I mean, why not, right? Just gonna make the track all the way back up again. We can go deal with the boss. Almost done with this section. So. Yeah. Oddly, no swamp gas references yet. But then again, haven't really been dealing with any cutscenes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drop a save so I don't have to do that stuff again. stuff in a separate save slot so you can see how much time it took me to build up for the uh, Chrysler building when I get ready to. Maybe a few days, maybe a while longer before I actually do that and get it on stream, but I will stream the entire Chrysler building, even though it's going to take a good long one. show it off in its entirety. Uh, nice texture glitch there, emulator. Your debuff shenanigans. so it doesn't really matter. Um, which one is the boss fight? I don't remember. That one. Just dealt with you guys.
level. Confuse, another ability that I just do not use, basically. Full cure. Those are actually somewhat beneficial. Because there was a point to coming in here. If there's some statuses, that's the only way to get rid of. It's the full cure type items. again. Doesn't really add much, just doing it one at a time, but I'm trying to speed up random battles by just making it everything die a little quicker. Which helped that I get only eight, huh? Hopefully I'll get to the point where I don't have to do two volleys on them soon. Let's see, can I finally use energy shot? yet? Yeah. Still can't use energy shot without draining my whole parasite energy gauge. I don't know if you ever can, actually. Anyways. On to the boss fight. Uh, looks like it's a little late, kid. targets. Yep, each of the heads is a separate target. Ow. You want to focus fire on one head at a time. And just keep your health up. That attack's kind of impossible to avoid, so... Not much I can really do about it. Please don't do that again. Forgot it can heal. Which one's the healer head? I think that attack just halves your HP. That's what it's starting to look like. It just does percent base damage. Which head do I need to focus on? Barrier might be a way to uh, counteract that stupid AoE. Someone's knocking on my door. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to point something out to somebody. Yeah, yeah. I have my HP again. You know what? Turning on barrier because that attack's getting really annoying. Now, your PE won't recharge when you have barrier on, but as you can see, you take zero damage. one attack in the game that this will pretty much cheese you through. And yeah, that gets rid of that head. Oh. This is why I wanted all those medicine threes that I collected, is because of that stupid half HP attack. And got rid of my barrier. You want to avoid that, especially if you're low on health like I am. That one's pretty easy to dodge, though. It's just the stupid AoE that's a problem. I'm trying to pick off 
the secondary heads. Frickin... So sick of that attack. Ow. Gets rid of that head. So it's pretty much done at this point. It might have been the head that was doing that stupid AoE. if there's anything special about it. Probably doesn't matter. But I can check. Uh, times three and have decent base stats. Yeah, plus one to each. Meh. Well, because... Yeah, we had about 15 minutes left, 20 minutes ish. This area. Nice texture on his gun. <laughs> I suppose I can't really complain, it's back in the PlayStation era. It had limits. Really severe limits back then. Kind of surprising they packed as much into the games as they did. That and 3D tech was somewhat new. That's day three finished. On to day four. Uh, I don't remember what day you have to insert the next disc for. Got it all ripped and set up. That shouldn't be a problem. I think it's day six and seven that's on the second disc. Might be day five, six, and seven. Hard to remember for certain. able to move again. Sometimes kind of hard to tell when the uh, dialogue ends and you're able to move. I uh, just saved, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, no tools, okay. Unfortunately, the precinct is going to be wrecked for the rest of the game, pretty much. But, no more encounters in here. Chests have restocked yet. But needed. See, there's his mention of the trading cards again. We found one earlier. But, yeah. Store equipment. Doesn't really matter. 
plenty of ammo now. So I'm not using something with uh, stuff like uh, fire times 10, etc. Discard what little junk I have. Now, the rare trading card collection does not come into play until the optional content, unfortunately. Again, I will be doing that all in one video, hopefully. Maybe two, depending on if I have to cut it to prevent desync. But I will try and get all that up on stream eventually. It will take a while to prepare, though. Probably do most of my preparation at night when I'm uploading videos. This is, uh... Character's partner said we need to go up to the third floor. Thankfully, they didn't close that gate back off. That's closed, so you can't come up here earlier in the game. Let's see, which room is it? I think it's the room where the medic was. Emphasis on think. I don't remember for certain. find it online. Don't know. Never been much for horror novels. Call a distraction, lady. Swamp gas, obviously. Oh, the hospital. Right. This part. If you remember earlier, they explained how the previous Eve's body did not hold together. This is kind of the same situation. As I said, you basically don't have to resort to the club. Ever. Um, do I have the optional area yet? No, I do not. Okay. Um, let's see. Off to the hospital, then. There are two optional portions in the game. One you can do in New Game. And Barrier plays a big part in the boss fight. Finally spending some time with his kid. God damn. I understand that you're a cop and you have to stay separate from him for work, but at least spend some time with the kid. No parent around sucks. Yes, yeah, speaking from experience. I'm not having a parent around. Dad wasn't a cop, he just wasn't around.
wonder if I'll be able to finish up Parasite Eve today. Don't know. Probably won't. Probably last one more stream. It's not that long of a game, sadly. The Chrysler building is long, though. That area in and of itself can take a while. Now, there is a reason for these stupid things that he's giving you. It's based off... You're tied into the whole New Game Plus thing. The charms take up spots that get replaced with your equipment. It's to make sure your storage isn't completely full. Tool... At least that's my take on it. Now, the hospital is where that glitch I mentioned with the trading cards is. Just gotta remember exactly where. that spot. Locked. The elevator's where you want to go, but I think the glitch is somewhere right out here. Unless it's further in. That damn spot. On one of these tables? Where are you, trading card? Mm -hmm. It might be further in. It looks like it. Okay. When I find it, I will point it out. Need the green card key. So... Can't go there. Pretty much only one choice. Wrong elevator. obvious that this was going to happen. I mean, you get in an elevator in a situation like this, it's going to happen. I think I have to go to the buttons, actually. Run right up. Conveniently, we stopped at a floor instead of below one. If memory serves, the elevator should have stopped. And then... Yep, she cuts the lights. Indeed she is. Nice job, Captain Obvious. Um... Yeah. Again. We already got that. A powered nothing works, basically. No. Locked. In. Quite a few rooms down here that you can go in as you get keys, etc., I think. That sparkle is important. Get the thing. You need to find multiple fuses before you can finish off this area. A grenade launcher with a different ability. Which one is this? Is. I gotta check it through that. Let's see, this is Tranquilizer. Not the best effect, but it can come in handy. 
I prefer to get acid on my uh, Franken gun that I build later. Damn. Forgot that these poison you. Poison should wear off at the end of battle if memory serves. As you can see, though, not really a threat, just kind of annoying. Most of the damage I took was from being careless with my avoidance. Go again. Lady, she's more than just cold if she's walking through walls and doors and such. Anything else I missed back here? Can I go on this yet? He is in one other new enemy. Obviously, don't step in the poison. Lots of enemies down here cause status effects. But if you avoid their attacks that do it, it's generally not that big a deal. Definitely need to boost my weapon some more. Hopefully I can find some more offense ups or just get a lot more bonus points. So fights don't take as long. I do have a tool though, so. Oh, I was that grenade launcher. Damn. I tend to try to keep grenade launchers because you don't get many with the effects that they have. It's three, why not? Autopsy key. The item we actually needed from here. Remember that locked room earlier? Yep, we're going back already. Conveniently, even with that power, the phone works. Hey, video game logic. Anything else in here? Is this openable? Oh, doesn't look like it. As I already expressed my distaste for Parasite Eve 2, I will not be running it. Oh, now you get the friggin' Resident Evil thing. Why couldn't you do it with any of the other keys, hmm? Hmm? The reason for not doing Parasite Eve 2, it's a heck of a change from this, and to be honest, it just plays like a, a crappy Resident Evil knockoff. With some minor RPG elements. The setting's still okay for maybe one run, it's just... The gameplay is so damn bad to me that I can't stand it. Okay, bonus points, so I can up my attack power a tiny bit. It's kind of sad that you only need one attribute on a weapon to be highly pumped up. And offense plus one. That's helpful, at least. Uh, this room. Why, oh, but I 
always remember this room for some reason. Alright, we're finally at the point where our health gets a major jump from leveling. You can tell from our last level up, our health actually shot up by, what was it, 60 some odd points? I'll have a boost over what we've been getting lately. It does that occasionally, as you level, just to balance out damage versus your survivability, I think. It's one of the few enemies in this area that can't cause a status ailment. I don't remember for certain. Uh, here? And you get the bee vest. Makes you is it either immune or resistant to poison. Well, doesn't matter. My uh, armor's got better base stats than this. So. Resistant. I'm gonna pull the poison resist off, shove it on my armor. Let's see, you can't go into either of those or do anything with them. But there is a fuse up here. I don't remember if it's two or three that you need. check. Now what did you break? Let's see, this is locked, I think, yeah. that she just broke? Might be. Yep. Broke the stairs. I think it's because we got close enough to him. Next order business, get all the way over to where the fuse box is. Solve whatever the heck she did to it. Characters and electrician. Yay. Why can I not move? That's why. Somehow my window got unselected. Not where I wanted to go, though. Apologies if I get a little lost in here. My memory starts to fade the further I get into the game. Locked. Blue key, which I do not have. I'd have to go through one of these side rooms to get to where the fuse box is. I think that sounds right. This, I already know where it goes. Probably the autopsy room in terms of where I have to go through. Checked over here, didn't I? Yeah, that's locked. But, yeah, pretty much only have two options. Autopsy room or that one up there. Um, did I check over in here? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, another encounter. More of this stuff, huh? If I was just doing this on YouTube, I'd cut out random battles. <laughs> Doesn't really work for Twitch. Should have taken one of those medicines and used it to heal, but it's a little late now, I guess. There we go. Check that. Um, check through that door. 
been down there. Wish I remembered the hospital better. It's kind of a long area, and it's just... Yeah. Is there another door in one of these areas? No, that was just the fuse. That was the box with the vest. Hmm. Where the heck do I need to go? Not over there. Just checking to see if it's a door at a weird angle. So not the autopsy room. And I guess the only other option is this door over here. Somewhere I could go in this room. Don't miss that. Can't afford to miss those. Get my defensive stats boosted up as much as possible, considering, as you've noticed, I suck at evading. In there, even though it seems like there is. Checked over there. Did this door get unlocked by her breaking that? Nope. And did I miss something in there? Got to have missed something somewhere. Screw up, game. Over here. I think this is just the room with the tons of boxes. Yeah. Okay, so I've confirmed that it's not through there. Checked through the autopsy room, but that's the only one that really makes sense for it needing. Yeah. Or having it way through. leads to the freaking room with the vest. Damn it, what am I missing? What am I missing? Got to have missed a key somewhere in here. Resist did not protect against that. I don't even remember it 
of point or status resists and immunities work in the game. Because some of the effects don't work. That's what I missed. Damn it. <sighs> Figures that I'd missed something there. Oh well. Going on. Still getting close to leveling from the random encounters. Let's see. So I tapped that. Blue key, get through here and then fix the frickin' fuses. Strange how they just suddenly included that after all this time using keys. This kinda doesn't mesh well. And yeah. There she goes again. Uh, times seven shots, but again comes with the random effect, so it's not really worth using. Ooh, shiny. Tune. I will be pulling the extra offense, though. Random effect is unfortunately what ruins most machine guns. You can get rid of it via super tool, but I don't have access to those yet. I think we'll be getting our first one pretty soon, though. serves. We actually had a chance to get one at one point. We just didn't roll on the random seed that gives it to you. These guys. That stupid ball thing. They will make more. I have to kill the body. Stiffness. Defense is nice and pumped up. It doesn't really do much damage. Now, the reason that ball thing regenerates is it's actually one of their attacks. You throw it and it bounces around the uh, battlefield, hurting you whenever it hits you. And since they regenerate them, they can have a bunch going around. Right, haste. Incredibly useful. does what it says on the tin. Makes you faster. I'll use it in the boss fight that's coming up. Now that we have all the fuses... Is there anything over here? Does this just lead to the door? Just leads to the door. Which is suddenly broken. Don't do that when the power's on. Obviously. Insert all three fuses. Didn't really do a very good job of destroying the power. Could have done a lot worse. Just tear a wire and Elevators are working now. Well, that 
it's not the wires that are in the door that's mysteriously broken, it's just suddenly open. I'm guessing it's because I come from that side. Yep. It's broken over there, isn't it? The door, it's part of the, uh, fuse stuff. Or fuse box. Eh. One working elevator? Thankfully, she doesn't decide to break this one at the same time, because that would kind of screw us. Follow the random ghost kids. Nothing ever comes about that's bad from following random ghosts, especially ghosts of children. This might be where the bug is that allows you to get infinite cards. Let's see if it is. I know it was close to the entrance. first. got everything that was there, right? Nope. As long as you don't leave memory serves, you can just keep checking and keep getting more trading cards. I'm just gonna fill up my inventory real quick, head back, store them, and then I'll move on with this area. I do recommend doing this at least a little if you're trying to build a Franken gun later on and trying to make some of the, uh, Super armor, but you can. That should be plenty. Yeah. I can get one more. Why not? But, yeah. That's the bug I had mentioned earlier in the uh, stream, slash, I think, in the last part, actually. And yes, you can leave at any time, go back to the precinct, and you can store a bunch of stuff. Which is where I'm going. So I think you can. Yeah, just have to walk off that side. Yeah. 
optional zone that isn't post-game might appear in disc 2. I don't remember. Might have to talk to someone. Been too long since I played this game. I'm in. Stupid finicky doors. Oh, the bullets have restocked now. Why not? Store. Put that in the storage so I don't have to lug it around. Yeah. A decent stock of trading cards now. basically don't have to worry about getting them for the rest of the game. Um, grenade launcher can be moved. And so I can pull one of these out and pull its stats off. I believe, because I think I have a tool. Yep. One to everything. Starting to build up. I'll finally be able to turn this into a quote-unquote Franken-gun later on, though. I think next area, actually. Which inventory space do I have? F. Yeah, I've got a couple medicine twos. Those will come in handy later. Yeah, there are no repercussions for leaving, or anything like that. start the stream just to make sure my video doesn't desync on YouTube. Be right back in a moment. <laughs> 